Hello everyone, welcome back to my kitchen, Catherine's Plates, where it's always simply delicious. I'm Catherine, your host. I got my crock pot out because I want to show you how to make my delicious cheesy chicken. It's full of flavor. It's early, so it's not quite as hot yet, but we're going to be happy we have this in the crock pot today. Now this crock pot dish is very easy to put together. It's kind of a dump and go recipe where you just put it all in there and let it do its thing. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I've got some boneless, skinless chicken breast. It's two and a half pounds. So we're gonna go ahead and place that into the bottom of the crock pot. We're going to spray the inside of the crock pot first before we place our chicken in. Now you can use frozen or you can use thawed out chicken, it doesn't matter. Now this is thin chicken, so it might cook less time than a really thick chicken breast. So you just wanna make sure that when you cook your chicken, it is tender all the way through and you can pick it up with a fork and it just falls apart. All right, we're gonna salt, pepper, and garlic powder the chicken. Now, since I have thin chicken breasts going on here, I've just kind of pushed them off to the side to get to that bottom layer. Salt. pepper, and garlic. Do this side. I'm gonna do the top layer. Salt pepper, garlic. Next, we're gonna rough chop an onion. I'm gonna cut the sides off, that thick outer layer. I'm just gonna cut it in half. Make some thick slices and then cut those. Now cut the onions pretty thick because they'll be sitting in the crock pot for quite a while and I want to be able to find them once the meal is done. You want some texture from them. All right, I'm going to place this into the crock pot. Now we're going to talk about the cheese because this is a cheesy chicken dish. So you can use pretty much any kind of cheese you want. You just want to make sure that it's shredded or that it's sliced. I am using a Mexican cheese blend, and let me tell you what's in this. It's a blend of Monterey Jack, medium cheddar, queso, quesadilla, and asadera cheese. Doesn't that sound delicious? Yeah, put a mix of cheese in there. We're looking at about two cups of cheese going right across your onions and chicken. Now I'm using a half cup measuring tool, so I'll be doing this four times. Just cover it up. Nice even layer. Okay, we're still dumping in the ingredients. We got some stove top stuffing. This is cornbread flavor, whatever flavor you have or like. 
You're just gonna take that dry mix and then pour it all on top of that cheese. Well, that smells good. All right, this is the one I'm using. Take half a cup of melted butter, or you can take one stick of butter and melt it. We're gonna pour that all over the dressing. We're gonna add one can, it's 10 ounces, of Rotel tomatoes, which is just diced tomatoes with green chilies. Now this is the mild flavor. Well, that's gonna give it some nice flavor. Okay, you're gonna need one can of cream of soup. Now you can use cream of mushroom. I'm using cream of celery, or you can use cream of chicken. So I'm just going to place this around the tomatoes. That way it'll spread a little evenly. Spread it out. I love these dump and go recipes because you can just put it all in there. You don't have to pre-cook any kind of meat or anything. We've got one cup of chicken broth going in. This will aid in giving it some liquid, some moisture, to get everything cooking well. One cup of chicken broth. What we're going to do is place the lid on. We're going to cook this on high for about four to five hours. You want to make sure that your chicken is very tender. Just take a fork and go in and twist. And if it pulls apart really easily, it's done. Now, if you want to cook it on low, we're talking six to eight hours. Now, it all depends on the size of your chicken. If you're using really thick chicken, you might be at the end of that time frame. If you're using the thin ones like I am here, it may be on the shorter end of your time frame. Oh my gosh, this is smelling amazing. Got a big spoon here. We're gonna go in and give it a try for you. Well, that chicken is very tender. We got the stuffing the tomatoes with the green chilies, all that cheese in there. All right, let's give this a try for you. There's my bite of my cheesy chicken in the crock pot. Mmm. Wow, I have to tell you, that stuffing in there is so good. Mm. The chicken is so tender. Everything is full of flavor. I paired it with my spinach salad. It'll be out in another couple of days, so it'll be there for you. All right, give me a thumbs up on this one. Wow, this was just an all-in-one dump and go crock pot. Perfect for these hot summer days. Give me a thumbs up, comment down below what you think, and if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. And everyone, make sure you're hitting that bell notification, that way you'll always know when my shows are posted. I'll see y'all on the next episode.